Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Thursday vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have a really pretty collection, a Christmas collection from our friends at My Mind's Eye. This is the Yule Tide collection. And let me take you through this. It comes with um, a sheet of stickers. There's 20 stickers here and as you can see, there's this combination of vintage art and beautiful glitzy glitter, which I just love. You also get 60 enamel dots and also this pack of 63 pieces of um, die cuts and um, baker's twine, even some jingle bells, and we'll open that up and take a look. And also a pack of paper. It's six sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Um, and it's just got all these wonderful glittery, it's double sided, so it's like 12 patterns on six sheets. And let me show you these really quick. Here's a beautiful stripe. Um, I love that my mind's eye uses their little um, border here. Um, they do that so they can, of course, sell it individually by the sheet, but you cut this off to make it 12 by 12, but then you also get this great border, so it's a little patterned edge, and I think that's very, very clever. Um, Oh, I love the circle one with this great little floral embellishment. Look at the great Santas and this black holly, black and ivory. And then the fa la 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 paper. And this wonderful vintage holly. And this great uh, hound's tooth plaid. And then the red snowflake. And this really wonderful vintage scene. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so yes, lots of glitter, lots of fun. Oh, I forgot to show you. Did I show you the back of this one? All right, so let's get right to it. Let me show you a scrapbooking page that I did. Um, this one, I really wanted to use these sort of botanical images and um, it's really gorgeous. Oh, how funny. I didn't cut off the border strip that I was just talking to you about. That is funny. So yes, of course, you would cut that off. Um, and um, what I did behind the photo was just do a block of black um, and ivory holly paper as well. And then I just did some layering with some foam tape of all these great images that are in this little package. So let's take a look at what's in this package. There we go. All right, so lots of great journaling pieces glittery pieces. Um, I love the little circles with glitter on them. They were wonderful to hang with the baker's twine. Some letters, some snowflakes, just a little treasure trove. Here we go, I used that little December 25th on the page. As you can see, a really great mix of vintage, botanical, and just wonderful glitzy glitter stuff. Let's take a look at a card, move this all away. So here is my little Santa themed card where I took, I like to use um, just little samples of the paper. I feel like it goes longer and you can kind of stretch it out. So I used some of the circle paper, some of the stripe paper, and then I used the sticker border, which you can see right here. And also um, the sticker here comes Santa Claus. And from that little goodie bag, I also did the little Santa and glitter tag um, jingle all the way and added, added some of those enamel dots. And I just couldn't wait to like hang some jingle bells from the baker's twine there on my little bow. So then here's another one. This is a very collaged card. So once again, I started off with some green bow, uh, pine bow paper, and um, just did some strips or scraps of both the holly and the little circle paper, and then used a lot of the tags and um, little flags and things like that along this edge, and then topped that with enamel dots. And then I wanted to add just a really beautiful glitzy um, flower. This is from Petaloo, some really beautiful jeweled flowers, and I wanted to add that there. And then of course, did the cheer greeting at the top, and I just alternated gluing and foam taping those across that. And before I foam tape this one down, I just added a little knot or a little bow of uh, baker's twine. So then here we go is another card. This one, I did an easel card. And just props up right like that. Makes a really nice presentation. 
when you're giving that to a friend. So on this one, I just used a little bit of that vintage scene paper um, for my background, and then foam taped Santa, and then the little Here Comes Santa, and um, a little glittery ribbon there. And I also used, um, I should have mentioned on all of these projects, I used the silver um, jewel border dazzle stickers as well. Just a little more glam. And let me show you how I like to construct an easel card. The most important thing about an easel card is once you get this folded, which I'll show you how to do, you need to have something foam taped on the inside so that you can prop it open like that. Okay? So I just cut um, a card to a five inch square for this particular design. And then um, placing the fold at the top, open the card, and then I just took the top edge and fold it to the center fold. And you know, you could um, score that if you like. I find that you really don't need to because that's going to be covered. All right, so there you go. And so then I went ahead and prepared my little square of matted paper here. And then you just glue it only to the bottom of the card front so that the top is free of glue so that it's like a nice hinge. So you just glue that right here, okay? And as I said before, make sure you have something to prop it open with. All right, so let's actually build a card, I think. Um, so I like do using the interlocking frames as one of my favorite um, die cut cards from Hot Off The Press. This one has three cards and envelopes and it comes already, all the pieces are already die cut for you which is just a huge time saver. So um, here is the card base. It already comes folded and die cut. And then you've got a die cut. This is going to be this inner piece, and I'll show you what to do with that. And then the frame, here we go. take out this inside piece, and you're not actually gonna use this piece um, on the card front. You could use it on the inside of your card or another project. All right, so this piece you're gonna cover with paper and then foam tape here. So this is what the card looks like when it's already assembled, already put together, and you've done, you started off with this, do this. So before I get to this point though, I like to decorate it and cover it with paper. Okay, so on this one I took that uh, black and white sort of hound's tooth plaid and I covered each panel right here and right here with that. Okay, and then thread that back through. And then I took the inside square that we're going to use and I just covered it with one of the um, die cut pieces. And um, this one's Cozy Christmas. And then when I did that, I went ahead and trimmed around the edges so that it was rounded once I covered that piece. And then put some foam tape on there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on the top of that piece. Okay, so now that's where we are. All right, and so I've also covered the frame piece like this, I covered it with the red snowflake paper. And for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna glue this right here. Oops. There we go. You're gonna center that over that half of the original frame. All right, so as you can see, now it's glued over there and it's all ready to go. All right, now I've got some die cut snowflakes. So I wanna go ahead and put some foam tape on the back of that. There we go. And I like to just layer these. Here's a red one. Great. And a black one as well. Okay. And then you could also take another piece here, and because this is opening on this direction, you could always just glue that right there. So, well actually, let's foam tape that. I'm gonna put a little square foam tape right there. 
And then we're going to decorate that with some enamel dots. Let's go ahead and use the red. Put the red on that one, and then a large one. Whoops. I love that about enamel dots is once you set them down, they stick just enough, but then you, can, you also have a little window where you can reposition them. And we all need a little window sometimes. There we go. All right. So you can see that that opens in this fashion. And then I can also take from my sticker sheet a little Tis the Season. I want to put that right up there. I want to make that even with my fold. Go. All right. And I'm all done. So you can see that the die cut cards, this is an interlocking frame from Hot Off the Press. You can get all of these at Paper Wishes. We've got a really great money saver on the um, Yuletide collection. Definitely check that out. I think this one's going to sell out fast. Um, so definitely check out that money saver. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you next week.